Okay, so this is uh, the concept of a leveling queue. So we have lead time. Let's say you have 21 days, that's your historical norm. You design a, a repeating sequence of tests that allows you to actually test in five days, for example. Now you might be thinking, I don't see how that's possible, but those sort of things are possible if you control the amount of work that goes through the five day sequence. So what I'm showing here is a, a, a variable incoming workload. You can see the numbers there are meant to represent sample or hours of work or whatever you want, uh, but it, it's, it's uh, volatility anyway. Uh, and on this side of the queue, so this is the, the pacemaker if you like, queue, uh, you have lab capacity, which now equals the leveled demand, so the average of those numbers. Um, and these are days, and I'm going to progress the, the samples through now just to show you how the concept works. So our level of demand in this case, by the way, is four. If we do four every day, we meet the demand over a period of time. Okay, so it's day one, we do four. Okay, they come out of those seven on the immediate left of the queue. So it means we have three that we didn't start that we've left behind in the queue. The day after, guess what? We do four as well because that's the level demand, which includes the three that we didn't start the day previous. So they've they've aged a day, okay, and we'll do one of the five that came in on the second day. Does that make sense? Okay, and guess what? On day three, we do four as well. Uh, and those four will be made up of the four out of the five that we didn't do. So they've also aged a day, but only a day, and so on and so forth. Okay? So we're using flow, which is velocity via rhythm wheeler trains, to reduce the throughput time. That's how long it takes you to test something once it starts. We use the difference between the throughput time and the real constraint lead time, which is what you tell the factory, the 21 days in my example, to allow queuing time for leveling. And the, the, the key thing of this is that the samples don't age as much as you think because you're always working on the next oldest ones. Uh, so you're turning them over. If you've done your calculation of level demand correctly, uh, and it's, 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 it has to be based actually on what you can, the volatility you can level within the, the lead time, within the 21 days. Um, it's, a little, it's, it's a little bit more complicated. It's not as obvious as, as it seems, but it's, it's perfectly calculable. Uh, and samples don't get as old as you think. Um, and then your, your number of people or your resources is matched to that level of demand. So you need enough people to run four rather than enough where you would have been before, which is enough to run six probably, and you fall behind every time you're seven. So that's, I, okay, this is a very simplified uh, um, uh, um, graphic of, of, of how the process, but it, it, that is the principle. Okay, everybody follow that? Good.